So there are a few citizens currently identified. One is of course me, Ali Islami, here is the ID. I can select the ID. So it will bring it load the loads the body that I'm going to take over. So you can see the username is Ali Islami. You can log in through this body uh, and have access to the city through this identity. And here on the screen in front of me, you can see the, a glimpse of the online profile of this person. So I can actually scroll through here. This is my Instagram feed. So you can, you can barely understand who this person is to take over their identity and live with them, through them. Or this one is like my collaborator, Klasin, which I'm making a new space in Falfner. We're making it together. It's still a placeholder body, so don't judge this. And also, of course, we have a nobody. This guy is nobody. Uh, so, for now, for the sake of this presentation, I'm going to embody myself and log into Falfner. First, there is this uh, camera feed where I can see you guys from the real life. It's kind of like a reality check. So, um, so if you've seen like um, this film, uh, uh, The Waking Life, so you might be really always in this like dream-like situation, but this is a good reality check to to change the whole thing to a to a, a, a lucid dream instead of just. Deeply dreaming. But anyhow, so in, here I am in my body lab. I can customize my posthuma body, like my hands. So, for instance, I can change the thickness of my hands, and, uh, change the texture, like concrete hands. Uh, I would prefer the, the metal hands. And this, my mouth sensitivity, I will tell you how this works about it. Uh, so here on this board you can see this current state of my virtual body, like my post-human body. So for my virtual body I designed these, uh, these modules. You can see these modules. Uh, these are, uh, I call them post-human kits. So these are modular. As you can see I can sort of stack them. And each of them does something. So this one on my left hand is in the operating system. And this one, on, these two on my right hand, this is a scanner and this is a shrinker, as you can see. So I can actually use them. So the operating system on my left hand, I can use it like this. This button, when I press it, I have access to this operating system of Valsmir, where there are all these apps on the left, this ribbon, and I can choose and it's kind of like an embodied feature where I can use it anywhere I go in the city. Um, so, for example, there is this app called Readly, where it's like a news outlet of the city, where I can read like really strange weird news, like chair news. Uh, it says the picture has committed suicide in a shocking incident. Watch it live in Skyrim. Or some other news where I can. Uh, go through. Some are really creepy and some not. Uh, but you get the idea. It's still not yet developed perfectly, but to, to give, give you a glimpse, there, there's a map here where I can teleport to the city hub if I get lost. Because there are some situations you can get lost in the visual world. Like, you can like be thrown out like two kilometers away, somewhere and over. You want to get back to this hub. So it's a good feature. You need it. Uh, I will show the rest as we go forward. So, the other one that was quite relaxing in a sense. And uh, weirdly enough, I found myself uh, daydreaming in this space but once I created it. Like, not even thinking about the project, but thinking about like life and shit. <laughs> Lyrics you can follow with the choir. But you can. So that's another layer. Uh, um, I think there is 
There's another space called Lead Forever. I just quickly go there to tell you how that works. So Lead Forever is a space if you miss the sunlight. So it's an experience to, to, to give you a, a, a glimpse of how a virtual sunlight could be. So here is this like horizontal uh, sort of elevator stage. And if I push, push this forward, with, I can, with this I can adjust the speed. And I press this, so it made my hands concrete. So my hands are now concrete. Concrete hands are cool because you can feel the sunlight better than metal hands. And you can see it now. So, I, I mean, Believe me or not, it feels like real summer. Uh, and I like it. I mean, if, if you really get stuck in the visual world completely, you will, you will miss this place. You will have to be one habit. So, I made it just in case. So, I'm going back. It really feels good. And again, these, these bodily features, they work everywhere, like I can shrink myself wherever I go, see? It's a different whole perspective. So, it's like also exploration of how human embodiment can, you know, give you a different perspective of the space and time and uh, how you perceive your reality. Uh, so, back to the map. Uh, Sacred Hill is a new chapter which I'm working on my, with my collaborator. It's not there yet. And have everything right here. That's actually a great question, and that's one of the things I would like to explore. Uh, that how I can map spaces because this is like a, like that's what I really like about like virtuality and everything virtual is the the, the essence of it.